Hello, what's up everybody? This is Luminous Nova and I'm about to unbox two new Light Toys visual hoops. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Okay. We have new hoops. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna... Ah! Oh, okay, okay, relax, it's new hoops. Will there be two? <laughs> Hello, Light Toys sticker. Hello, Light Toys hoops. <gasps> there are two in here. Holy damn. We got two hula hoops. Here's one. And then here's two. And then there's the accessory package here as well. Uh, they actually come with, uh, you know, their own remote and everything where you can sync them up with and then you have your charging station. They actually give with multiple inputs as well. Yeah, we got two of those, we got two of those. We got some stickers and then um, they have this little promotion in here for the LT Composer. The LT Composer is the program that we're gonna use to program these hula hoops. And then we got a business card. Um, they also have a little bit of an explanation on how you should travel with your hoops, which is also very important Because LED hoops, yeah, they do tend to break as we have all seen on stream. It happens um, I'm very curious about these hoops though because these are the first time I am going to be using these um, Also might ha be handy to know that there is already some grip tape on the inside of the hula hoop uh, the inside of the hula hoop is see-through and uh, a little, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to call this fabric. It's not gaffer tape, but it's a little bit different. Um, you might want to like get some extra stuff of this for yourself to be able to replace it because it does wear off at some point. Um, I'm just really happy that it's already on there and they they just include it in everything. With some hula hoop companies, you have to specifically ask for it. Um, but I do find this like the best option. So that's very chill that it's already there. Now, I think that we are going to assemble the hula hoop so that they can get round. And then I will show you the LT Composer and we can start working on our very first program together. Yay! Oh god! All right, let's check the... Let's check this. I see um, a charging port and I think one is for hooking it up to the PC. There's actually two different ones in here. I think one is the USB-C. I'm not sure what the other one is. We'll find out though, we'll find out. It's a customized, I am going to show you the program. So the one thing that I wanna say is that um, for example, the other hula hoop that I tried that have a three quarter inch or 19 millimeter tubing, they are very heavy. And this is the first LED hula hoop that has the weight of a smaller hoop, but it has the thicker tubing. And the thicker tubing is actually nicer to hula hoop with because it's, it's so much easier to grab. It works better on your body. And I just really, really love it. But every time I had a three quarter LED hoop, it was way too heavy for me. So now this is the first one that combines like a light hula hoop with a thicker tubing. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna put this thing down. Let's look at the program and let's see uh, what kind of sequence we can make for today. Oh, this is the button. I see, I see. Oh, there's not two inputs. There is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is on. 
Oh my god, there's actually a pattern in here. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Yay. Oh my god. And it feels so good. It is so pretty. Okay, there's like stuff everywhere. Yay. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look at how pretty the lights are in the thing, man. Okay, so I have to hold this one. One. And then one, two, three. Okay, I think it worked. I'm not sure. I feel like this is, uh, I feel like this is the programs that you have. I think there, you can load in four. Because there's also four numbers on the I also don't know what this is. I feel like this is like the pairing mode, you know? But I feel like it would do something. Oh! Did you see that? Oh shit, I think that was actually it. Oh my god. Oh, it works! Oh, I figured it out. Look, we have a green hoop! Okay, okay, we have a blue. We got pink. Yeah. Okay, we got it! Yay! Dots? Okay. Live streams are always okay. Red as well. This is the strobe. Oh, and then pulse. Fade. Okay, well, this is the program. This is called LT Composer. Um, you basically get all these patterns already loaded in. There's also more that you can download from the website or from other websites. But we're gonna first just make something with this thing. And yeah, I mean, I haven't read the manual yet. The only thing that I already know is that you have to create a new track and it will tell you what prop you are creating a track for. So if you have a visual poi, then you can click that one. If you have a visual hoop, you can click that one at, and so and so forth, etc. So I have a visual hoop, uh, 28 inch, so I will create a track for that. And then once I load in a pattern, I can just drag it here and I can select how long I want it. If you're, for example, also programming to a certain song, you can also load in the song. If you click here, it says load music, and then you can put in a song, and then you can see the wave of the song, and you can really, at the timing, put in certain effects that you would want, you know? So that's very cool. Here you can see what the pattern looks like, you can also see what the pattern would look like if you keep your hoop still. You can also see it from a vertical point of view as well. So it really, it really is cool that you can already see how it is while you're spinning it because that will, that will be the thing that it will be seen for the, uh, for the audience. Um, now I also mentioned that sometimes with words or with images, it's kind of hard to read. Um, here, this one says happy birthday. So here you can see where the image gets a little bit, you know, warped because it's a hula hoop. With a hula hoop, it's kind of like the hardest prop to really make uh, letters visible. But there is still a lot you can do because here at the bottom, there is a lot of customization that you can do. You can adjust the scale, for example. So yeah, here you can uh, adjust the scale, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, and then you can also have the spacing in between um, as well. You can have it repeat a couple times. Now it's repeated three times, but maybe I want to repeat it like six times and then you can see it like a bunch of times. Hi Lily!
<laughs> cutie i'm kind of busy right now i'm sorry we're, we're gonna cuddle later um yeah so pff. how long should we make the patterns oh this one is super pretty this one is super pretty too <laughs> And then uh, I'm kind of curious also to see how other uh, other things look. So I'm kind of curious if I can import my own logo into it. I don't see anything yet that I could import. But maybe it's not this actually. Here, import image. Okay, I was in the wrong thing because you can also save your program and then load it into another prop. You can also, by the way, if you have multiple props, like for example, if um, Mr. Kane and I were to do an act together and I have hula hoops and he has visual poi, then you can just lay the visual poi track underneath and then you can just like copy paste and like just have everything matching to each other. You can really see how it is together then, you know? Yeah, so that's cool. Very, very cool. Okay, but let me just see if I can import an image. Is it all the way at the bottom? Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. Yo. Check this out. Yo. Okay. Let's see if we scale this a little bit differently. Do we have to make it bigger or smaller? Look into the pattern. What do you mean? Now press the sub button. <laughs> I'm going to hypnotize all of you. <laughs> Man, it looks so cool already with the colors, you know? I'm already quite happy. How this is going. Uh, let's see about the adjustments. Oh yeah, this is another thing. You can even freaking change the color, yo. Like, honestly. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, it's like, there's so many options. Saturation as well. You can make it pop a little bit more if you need to. Brightness, you can make it brighter, you can make it darker. More contrast, less contrast. There is so much to this, man. So, so much. Okay, how long are we going to set the patterns for? Also, you can uh, repeat the entire sequence by clicking this little uh, button here, the check mark. Um, if you don't do that, then when your sequence is done, your hula hoop will just turn off. I've seen this uh, with a photo shoot with luminosity and I was like, why would you let the thing turn off? But when you're doing an act that's fully programmed, it makes a lot of sense because then you know it's like over. Um, but if you don't want that, if you just want to dance with it for hours and hours for as long as the battery runs, you can just press that sequence repeats and then it loops the whole thing over and over. Uploading to the device. Visual Poi, Wand, and Hoop. Okay. Connect your visual device to the computer with a micro USB cable and power it on with a long press of the power of the, of the main button. All right, I'm hooking up my hula hoop. Select the track, 224 Hoop 1. Select devices, a Visual Hoop 28. Select the bank. I'm gonna put it on the first slot. It is uploading. All right. Um, does it say anything else? I think I can just disconnect it. Let's try it out. Let's try it out.
I don't see the benefits now when you've broken my trust So I just wonder Why do I fall back to you? Really nothing I can do about it Why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me, I can't quit It's not like we're still 22 Trying something new just to pass time I don't think that we ever could work this out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I still fall back to you?